Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial, I want to cover the concept of period and frequency of a sound wave. So here's a little practice problem. If the speed of sound in the water is 4.3 times faster than air, let's find the wavelength and period of a sound wave produced by, let's say, a humpback whale with a frequency of 8 times 10 to the 3 hertz. The speed of sound in air is uh, 351 meters per second at about 33 degrees Celsius, which would be water temperature in this problem. So uh, the main thing we want to cover in this thing is the period and the frequency. So let's go over the equations, make sure we know the units. Feel free to stop the video and take some notes here. Uh, the period is represented by capital T, and the units are seconds. And it's equal to 1 over the frequency, or the inverse. So the frequency is in hertz. And again, if you were to derive the equation for frequency using period, it'd just be 1 over capital T. Now, our main equation to find frequency is velocity equals or speed is equal to lambda, which is the length of the wavelength times the frequency. What I always like to do is use these, uh, what I call math triangles, so it's a lot easier to see the um, arithmetic once you plug in to the right spots. So here goes. All right, so let's start to solve the problem here. Uh, we scan through the problem. We try to match up the units with the uh, symbols in the equation. So we have hertz. So we know hertz, uh, 8 times 10 to 3 would go in this corner of our math triangle. And then we've got to be careful. 351 is the speed in air, but we're talking about the speed in water. So we need to multiply that by 4.3 times the 351. So what we like about what I like about the math triangle is it's easy to see the arithmetic or the algebra um, to solve the problem. So we're, if we're looking for the wavelength, it's simply going to be these uh, two numbers multiplied together divided by the frequency. Then once we have, um, well, we already know the frequency, so the period, which is the other thing we're looking for in this problem, will just be one over eight times ten to the negative three. So if you have looked for that one over X button on your calculator. All right, so now we can see the uh, actual answers to the problems. So our wavelength would be about 0.19 meters. That's about uh, 19 centimeters. And if you want to visualize uh, the uh, wave from crest to crest or from high pressure to high pressure points on the uh, sound wave. And then your period would be 1 over the frequency that turns out to be a very small amount of time. So just a few conceptual things about uh, speed and period and frequency. Period is the time it takes for one uh, wave cycle uh, to go. And the frequency is the amount of cycles that happen per second. And when we're talking about sound, you know, sound needs a medium to travel. It's a mechanical wave. But it's also a longitudinal wave as well. If you're uh, wanting to know how fast sound travels in different mediums because it needs a medium to travel. The fastest would be in a solid. Uh, second place would be water, as we just did here. And then the slowest would be in air. All the uh, tutorials by Longhorn Physics uh, are available um, in some kind of book format at uh, starstudyguide.com. It's S-T-A-A-R studyguide.com. There's uh, books for worksheets, very interactive. Uh, for example, this Physics 101. A lot of worksheets where you have to go through and practice all the units and know the uh, terminology. And then you finally get some uh, practice problems and it follows with a mini quiz. Uh, there's uh, quite a few different types of physics books available at that website. If you feel that can that help you better, available in Kindle and by Amazon. 